Some weeks just come packed with a narrative arc. Monday kicked off with a bang. Canada's first ever female finance minister delivered her fiscal update, the first during the pandemic, saying that as a working mom, she wished she had a magic wand to wave over the sis over everything and create a system of early learning and childcare. But she could not do that. What she did was provide $2.4 billion to families with young kids. So maybe they'll save some childcare spaces. It certainly isn't going to deal with the childcare crisis we've got, which is more and more spaces being lost. Why couldn't she do more? The answer is because she needs the provinces to be her dance partners and too many provinces don't want to dance with her. So we have to wait till the spring to see what kind of deals we can cobble together because delivery is local. And that came home to me this week when I was speaking to the Ontario Municipal Social Services Association and they bring childcare, housing and social assistance literally to a neighborhood near you. The reality of local constraints came through loud and clear when Waterloo Region decided to cut five child care centers in order to pay for its police services. So we know that municipal finance is going to be an issue down the line, and it is, and the issues around child care are really starting to choke things up. Today was the last labor force survey of 2020. And we saw that we are flattening the wrong curves in the midst of a pandemic. Employment recovery is flattening. It's starting to slow down. And the people being left the furthest behind are women. So my takeaway from this week is there is no magic wand. We need full employment and we need our governments aligned. And for that to happen, we need full engagement of everybody at every level to assure a healthy future for workers.